Tifu by roasting a co-worker going through a divorce. TL, doctor, I told my co-worker his wife was too pretty for him and he pulled me aside and said that she was leaving him. It is mostly men where I work, so naturally there is always some casual light-hearted roasting going on. Everybody does it and it is all in good fun. Builds morale so on and so on. One of my co-workers, who was always an average looking guy, not ugly or unattractive, but until recently had a bit of a dad bod. His wife, however, was very pretty. I noticed this morning that he had lost some weight and I commented you're losing weight bro, looking good. Finally you're looking good enough to deserve that pretty wife of yours. Now, it was meant to be a compliment. But he pulled me aside and told me that his wife was leaving him. One of her main reasons was that he apparently let himself go and she decided he wasn't good enough for her. So yeah, I felt pretty awful and I talked it over with him and we're good now. I apologized but man do I feel like a complete cheesecake. I guess we never know what people are going through. I once told the guy who was going to be driving a van out of the state for a root job he was just filling in, he normally worked in the warehouse, did you tell your PO you were leaving town? He was on parole. Slightly the same boat. Once told a buddy in a jokingly sense while at work better pick up your pace or you'll find yourself without a job. Got a call from him that night saying he got laid off from lack of work. Definitely took him out for a beer that night. I felt like such a cheesecake. I made a similar comment to a friend of mine. It turned out he had cancer and was keeping it a secret. Definitely an oof moment. Oof. A female friend of mine said she was feeling under the weather and couldn't go out. I knew she and her husband had been trying to have a baby, so I jokingly said is it morning sickness? Did you finally get yourself knocked up? Turns out she was pregnant and had just had a miscarriage two days prior. She immediately started bawling and I felt like a big zucchini stupid dum dum ass. Big big oof. Now I don't joke about people being pregnant anymore. Since we're sharing foot in your mouth stories, here's a cringer, in HS my friend's mom died of cancer, he was about 14, call him friend A. About a week after the funeral, which our choir performed at, I was with friend B and we saw friend A looking like he had been crying, walking down to football practice. I asked how he was doing, he said terrible and he wished he could go home. Friend B said, just go home then. Banana it in a cheerful voice. He replied dejectedly, I can't. I have practice. Friend B enthusiastically said, just tell them your mom died or something. My mouth fell open. He looked at her with the coldest, most empty look I've ever seen and replied, she's already dead. And walked away. I was mortified. Friend B was even in our choir, she was at the funeral and she should have known better. 11 years later and I'm still cringing. She, she knew? And she went there? Oh man that's more than cold. I've been there. My son's audiologist shed quite a lot of weight since our last visit six months prior. Of course like an idiot I say something along the lines of hey, looking good man. Did you start training, or a new diet? To which he answers no. His wife left him and he's just depressed and not eating all that much. To my defense we had a long chat last time I'd seen him. He noticed I had lost a fat bit of weight and asked me how I did it. So I figured he'd just decided to get healthy, hence my question. Still felt like a jackass. I once got an email from a co-worker, that I didn't really know too well in retrospect, and noticed her last name had changed. I congratulated her on getting married. She responded that she had just gotten divorced. I was on the other end of that several times after getting divorced. I said no, no, congratulations is still appropriate. Tifu by confessing to my friend I wanted to banana her. Obligatory this happened on Monday. So, I have been single for a while and a friend of mine gave me a contact last year, saying you and this girl will probably get along well. That we did. From December to this month we have steadily been growing closer and having tons of fun along the way. Sans sexual flirting though. I even nicknamed her my almost soulmate because things just flowed between us. Until last week Friday when I decided to visit her for Easter, she stays in a nearby city. Now remember I've been single for a long time. And my raging hormone to logic ratio is at an all time high, thanks to a total lack of outlets. So when she said the entire visit should be spent indoors. I thought finally. This is where it happens. I packed two condoms to the visit and sprayed Dio like a madman. Got there and things were going great really, 
until after one hour of YouTube videos I got nervous and then desperate but I didn't make a move. For some reason I believed something would magically happen and we would end up in sexy time. You can imagine my inevitable disappointment when I had to leave. So just before we parted she suggested we take pictures and I said cool but really all I could think about was how I had failed at the only booty chance I had had in a year. Needless to say I didn't look overly enthusiastic, or even remotely happy on the pictures. Which apparently bothered her as she thought I didn't want pics with her because she is ugly, which she isn't. And for the weekend she kept on bringing it up and I kept on saying I was really anxious to travel back home in time. Which of course she didn't buy and eventually I thought hey let me just tell her the truth. So on Monday I sent her a pic of the condoms and explained my disappointment and sexual frustration trying to reassure her that she isn't ugly. And now, well, it's been three days since we spoke. Thanks, hormone monster. TL, doctor, confessed that I was disappointed we didn't get to sexy time with a good friend and now she won't text me. Edit, so, this kinda blew up lol. Thanks for the silver, kind strangers. And as for those suggesting I have zero social knowledge you're absolutely right, had no idea I would receive my awakening from this app. Also thanks to all the kind inboxes offering advice. And I know this is sad but the meta jokes around my post history are killing me. Spray moderate do y'all. Oh and since when is sexy time no longer standard nomenclature? Update, we are now talking again but it's still understandably slow and too early to tell if the conversation will be sustainable. And yes, I did apologize profusely, she mostly expressed confusion as to why I thought something would happen but that's a whole different story. Thanks to all the people giving advice in the comments. I'm hoping it helps me both short and long term. As for the special strangers who rightly sensed that I would be overwhelmed with some of the negativity, honestly it's just the people taking my other posts out of context or at least putting them in this context, I am truly amazed at your genuine kindness. I hope to be a similar positive influence one day. Sending a pic of the condoms was a bit over the top. Could have been worse. Jesus stood, you could have just said I'm sorry, we've gotten so close and I realized I'm interested in you and felt a bit awkward when leaving because I wanted to make a move and kiss you but chicken are like who sends a picture of condoms. You made the mistake of thinking that op has any social sense at all. Holy zucchini, it doesn't work like that my brother. I packed two condoms to the visit and sprayed Dio like a madman. Wow, and that didn't work? There's literally nothing more you could have done. Who sends pictures of the condoms you were hoping to use to a girl you haven't even flirted with Lamau? Congratulations, you're about to be known as that guy in your friend group. Tifu by listening to my dad and beating my bullies coconut proof. Okay. I was awakened this morning by my dad saying, hey dude. You're famous. Last night he posted a story about me giving my bully a beatdown. We read through the comments together and I want to say that I am overwhelmed at the support I have received, not only for knocking my bully TFO but also for the two surgeries I went through. First of all, I wanted to give you guys some proof because I keep seeing posts about this being fake. Here are some pics of me, before and after my surgeries and a shameless karma whoring pic of my dog and family. We are a big clan and we are very close. Here is a link to the original post. Here are the pics of me. To clarify, the kid who hit me in the chest was a good friend of mine. He did not intend to hurt me. We were just clowning around. The kid who bullied me would just slap me or punch me. I thought he would stop but he never did. I didn't want my brother to do anything about it because I was scared he would get hurt again. He had a level 2 traumatic brain injury from a mountain biking accident and everyone is very protective of him. Those of you who say I should have told on the kid. That is a terrible idea. That would just serve to put a bigger target on on my back. Then it would have been 20 bullies hitting me every day. Also, I feel bad for the kid I hit. I feel like his home life isn't all that great. He is always looking for attention. I tried talking to him afterwards but he didn't want to. I did talk to his brother, though, and he was glad I punched him. As far as the search he goes, I think I will do a MA on that because I saw a lot of questions about it from people who have pecked us and are curious about the surgery. TL, doctor. My dad posted about me beating up my bully and now I spent an entire sunny, Idaho day inside reading posts and laughing at my dad. 
Nice username op. Coconut laughed my coconut off when I read it, glad op's sense of humor is golden. Is it weird knowing your dad is on Reddit? Not op or op's dad, but, it's weird to me that my kids are on Reddit. I had to make an alt to protect my perfect never swears or gets angry mummy persona for them. Hey man. Congrats on standing up for yourself. Something I have learned is hurt people, hurt, people. So when you said that you think your bully comes from a rough home you're probably right. But that still doesn't give him the right to push that pain on to other people. A good bop in the head is something he needed and it's a good thing he got it early in life. Good luck with the rest of your healing from the surgery. The results are incredible. One of my kids specked us and had the same surgery. It's a serious issue that can affect breathing and other things because it reduces the amount of space in the chest cavity. Deleted. This is an example for all, really. The posture to the situation, the reaction. Yes, I can really say it is perfect, or close to it. I am of course talking about the dog.